And this one here is software update 2022-24-5. A few di different features. The first one here is the Tesla profile. So basically what this allows or what Tesla is doing here is your, now your profile is set across the platform, so onto the cloud. So you can show if you just uh, rented a car or if you bought a new Tesla, your profile now that you set up under your driving profile will go across all cars. So you could have two Teslas, or like I said, you could go rent or uh, buy a new car. You don't have to worry about setting up your profiles and it just keeps it all simple, uh, updated in the cloud. And the, un under those profiles or what we showed you before is it just controls your mirrors, settings, uh, seat settings, wheel adjustment, autopilot, things like that. Everything that you like in the car, when you get into the car, the car is just set up that way. So it's a really handy feature. And now it's going to be across the platform. So the other one here is now blind spot camera. This is one that I really liked. It's one that my wife complains a lot about. As before, when sometimes when you're driving, your hand ended up kind of blocking the view of where the camera was before, which I'll show you. Now you're able to move that around uh, to three different uh, locations, which also I think I'm going to go with the top location because the other one, you kind of had to look down at it. So you're putting your eyes away from the road. And that's the, the one thing you're not trying not to do when you're using a blind spot camera. It's so that you, you know, can keep your eyes on the road. I think the top corner is going to be really amazing because the next one here is disable sentry sounds, uh, security sounds under sentry mode. So basically this is just to help with neighbors and stuff like that, because I think the lights will still flash, but there'll just be no sound. And I'll show you how you change that. Next one here is drive driver profile. This is just for similar to the to the first one. This just has you across the platform under the cloud. It will save your favorite location. So if you've got your work or your restaurant or your home office, maybe or something like that, when you go rent a car, your favorite locations will still be there. So you rent a car, you're driving somewhere and you want to go home, your home address would still be under the rental car vehicles information under the profile settings. Okay, so now we'll just go into each one. So under the Tesla profile, so under here, uh, I've already done it already, but uh, when you came in here, it now says your vehicle settings and preferences will travel with you across thing. So you got it when I came in here the first time that wasn't activated. And then when I went in here under my profile, I hit activate. So uh, blind spot, you go under autopilot and then right there is where you can turn it off or on. So now it is turned on. Then you can, when you hit your mirror, it's gone up to there. It used to be down here before uh, was the set point. So now it's switched up here. They've also moved the indication lights up there as well too, it looks like. So you can drag it so it can go here or you can move it up to that spot there. So you have a couple of choices of where you can put it. I think for now, I'm going to go with that spot and see how that works out. For the disable sentry mode, that is under, so you just go into here into safety, uh, the choice right there to disable sentry mode. So by disabling the sound, sentry mode will no longer honk and generate a loud, unexpected sound when a significant threat is detected. So it has to be a significant threat. It doesn't just go off all the time. Your camera will sometimes just re record a sentry mode, which it'll just put the lights on and record a couple of seconds. Every now and again, I get a recording of a raccoon or something. But uh, now if, if somebody was really trying to get into your car or touch the, the pulling on the handles, it might beep, it would have beeped at them before and now it won't. So I think I would still leave this on. Uh, to me, I, it's fine, but if you you know live in an area where you don't wanna bug somebody, then you could turn that off. Uh, another new feature that I read online about this, the software update here, uh, service, it now shows your tire pressure up there. So it'll it'll change up to date. So I've got 42 on the one, 40, 41, and 41 as of one hour ago. So it gives you your uh, your tire pressure settings there. That's another new feature that's just been added under this uh, this update. So another feature that's not listed is one that I just got offline. Uh, what it is is actually under here under your arcade. So now under the arcade when you're playing a game. 
it's giving you the option over here to uninstall. So it's saying that that wasn't there before. So you can now uninstall a game off of there. And uh, some of the reasoning that people think for that is to make room for other games and that we're going to get an app store that we can buy stuff that's going to come soon. So that would be really cool that you can switch up the games that you're playing or they'll add other features under the app store. So again, that's another new feature that was added under this new update 2022-24-5 is the ability to now take off a game or uninstall it. Okay, thanks for uh, checking out this video. I hope you stuck around till the end. Uh, please like and subscribe. Again, thank you very much. And comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to look anything up about the update. And I'll maybe give you an update on, on how it works out. Have yourself a great night. Thank you very much.